Hello guys, this is Dr. Lior Barl, and man, am I excited to bring this review to you guys. I've been waiting for quite a while for this thing. I saw the advertisements, and some people actually asked me, they told me, is this good? Is this the way they advertise? So guess what? I went and got this. I, I, I went on Facebook or whatever, or I think it was on Instagram. They had one of those... Uh, uh, pop-ups, you know, uh, one of their advertisements. So I said, you know what, let me go and get it. And you're not going to believe it. They had like a good deal. It was like a buy one, get one at a, li like it was really cheap. So I said, you know what, if one breaks, I got another one. Now, I use Dremels all the time and it never worked on my cat it did, but on, uh, you know, on, on, on dogs, for example, I'm a huge cat and dog lover. You guys know that. And it's just hard, you know what I mean? So, I, you know, they don't like it. I end up, end up spending a fortune to get their nails did. Uh, so, anyways, let's get right into it. So like I said, guys, so basically we're going to do an unboxing of this thing and we're going to actually try it out and put it to the test if it is like they claim, you know, it is. OK, the thing is, I was just sick and tired of paying so much money on, you know, it's like 70 bucks or something for a whole spa in Petco. Uh, and they get scared there, too, because like literally you see them. So this thing, according to what they say, it's by a company called Lucky Tail. It's called dog nail grinder it you know they use it on an apple and they show you that it, it doesn't even cut the apple my dog got black nails so it's really really hard to actually do cuts on it so you know for me you know it's worth it if i were to buy this even if it is at a 40 dollars price point okay uh, you know get two for whatever it is um they throw also like two of these uh they look like dremel kits on there but so i got four of them now so uh, you know it's worth it because it still cost me i mean a li this cost a little bit more than than going to the spa day for my for my puppy so you know i want to make sure that you know that she's not going to be scared because she jumps she'll yell she'll scream and with black nails you could cut something wrong and you know it's it's really really uh, horrible i just want to get rid of the the points not not really everything else but you know they show that it gets rid of everything else too i just want the points really she looks really uncomfortable right now her nails are long she's scratching everything she has talons she she's having a good time scratching everything <laughs> so anyways let's get right into it and now i'm going to do the unboxing let's see how that it is okay guys so here it is one here we're gonna try to i could hear my mom yelling at me saying not don't use your teeth you're gonna break them like my dog's like looking at it right now she wants it so bad she's like i want to destroy this box so look it comes in like a nice box here gotta say the packaging looks nice kind of has that like like quality not exactly iphone feeling in pull but Kind of, you know, something like that <laughs> comes with. Uh, now they have video tutorials. I suggest everybody actually uh, do that before using this thing. So really nice. Has a lot of pictures there. You know, so you guys don't, you know, go to the flesh, cut too deep, all that. Wow, this just scares the hell out of me. It says trim at an angle. I'm gonna see how the heck this is, and it looks just like a Dremel, really. Now you got this thing right here. It's like a, a cloth that you wipe, um, you know, your glasses with. And a rechargeable cord right here, which is awesome. Because I love the fact that I, I could use this wirelessly. And here is the unit. just comes in like a... See, but it does come in like a nice foamy box here. So that's pretty cool. And we're going to take this baby out right now. I'm sorry I don't feel that well. So I sound a little uh, congested. I do apologize about that. Um, but, uh, you know... I'm just trying to get this thing going here. Uh, so here we go. Looks kind of like an EpiPen, <laughs> EpiLady type of thing back in the day here. So you pull this out, I'm guessing. Yeah, here we go. And now you got the nail trimmer here. It looks like uh, it's already in there. So I guess you get, you get spares here. So that's cool. So you get two spares with every unit. So I got obviously two boxes. So I got four of them. Now, how do you turn this on? Oh, so it doesn't come charged. That's kind of a pity because I really wanted to use it right now. Let's just see what the heck happens when I plug this baby in. Okay, hold on. Here we go. Okay, so I think this is, let me see here. 
think this is the cord that goes in. I don't know where it... Oh, it goes right over here. So we're going to just plug this baby in. This isn't even a USB-C. That's kind of sad. Uh, then again, we're not really doing transfers, but... Uh, this is kind of a weird way to plug it in if I'm even doing it right. Oh, here we go. No, it doesn't. Mm. Wow, this is weird. Um, the placement of this is so weird. It's almost like defective in a way. Let me just see here. I'm probably doing something wrong. Oh, here we go. Okay, I got it in. I guess because it's the first time, you got to really jiggle it in. And uh, so this cord is nothing to write home about. Really basic cord. I'm kind of sad it's not a USB-C, uh, but, you know, whatever. Um, let me just plug this in, see how this is. Give me one moment. Let me put on a brief pause. Okay, guys, so you could see that red. I don't know if you guys could see it. The light is kind of killing it here. I don't know. It's like a little dot, a little red dot right here. I don't know if you guys could see it. There you go. See, like, very tiny. I guess you just got to wait till it charges. Let me see if you could use it. No, you can't even use it hooked up. That's kind of lame. Um, but let's see what the heck this thing does. And I'm going to tell you, uh, obviously, I can't, unfortunately, I can't do this uh, straight up on my dog. Uh, I need two hands, obviously, to do that. I need to hold her, kind of pet her. It's a whole process. But you guys know I give you guys the absolute truth. You guys know that. So I am going to see what the heck happens right now. I'll see if I could get the footage for y'all. Um, Got to get her really in a nice, good mood. I mean... First off, I want to hear how the hell this sounds. So let's hear first how this sounds. So we're going to, let me put it on a brief pause here. Uh, and we're going to get right back to it once this damn thing is charged. I can't believe it didn't come charged. That's that's a pity. I'll tell you that. Uh, I also wish it came with like a, a case in a way or something. This thing is kind of expensive, to be honest with you. And I mean, I, I will say this. It does feel rugged. It does feel pretty good in your hand. Um, I could see it has great control i would have loved to have a probably a rubber grip so if you guys are listening in uh lucky tail love that name by the way um uh, if you could put a something as cheap as like a rubber grip on here that would be so cool because this thing is kind of slippery now my hands are orangutan hands so that's fine i'm not gonna lose it or anything but i could see a lot of people dropping this thing so it's not you know you don't really want something slippery when you're cutting nails of your dog, especially if they have black nails, you really got to pay attention. Another thing I would have probably added that I think would have been a great, great deal, uh, and I don't know if it's even in here. I guess I got to see. If you guys had a light, that would be so cool to put a light on this damn thing so you could see kind of through the nails of a, 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 a dog with white nails or, you know, pink nails or whatever. But, you know, on, on black nails, it's, it's a nightmare to have a little bit of light just just to kind of have it there is pretty cool. I think would have been great. And, you know, it is a rechargeable, so I don't think there would have been any kind of issue. I do love the, the cap on this. Don't get me wrong. I do love it. I wish it was a screw on, but, you know, this is pretty cool too. You just got to really, you know, press on it. Uh, nothing else really much to talk about till I see how this is. So let's wait till this thing charges and we'll see how the heck the sound is. And if it does a good job, hell, I'm going to use it on my nail before using it on my pups. Okay. So let's uh, give it a second. Okay, guys. So a couple of things. Yes, you could use it with this. I just guess it needed juice. Uh, give me one moment here. Um, so it needed just juice and yes, it does have an led. So I'm actually pretty happy and it works on speeds too. So you could use any kind of speed you want. I just don't know exactly how to operate this. Um, oh, there you go. See, so it has an led. You hear this? It doesn't sound that bad. Okay. It's not that bad here. I'm putting it near the microphone. So it's going to sound even worse than it really is. But like I'm putting it to my ear. It just sounds like kind of a a vibration see and that's off so it comes in like two speeds there's one very light you really can't hear anything let me see this Ooh, guys this is this doesn't even feel like anything look at this see this it sounds worse than it is when it's on the mic it doesn't it doesn't have a bad sound look at that it just completely scratches your nails right off that's awesome and then you just, wow, okay, that's pretty cool. You see, if I had, oh, damn it, 
So it does cut pretty well and not that it doesn't cut it off like and cuts your nail off. It really just grinds really nicely. You just could put it right in and it just grinds really great. Wow. See, it's not that bad. And then you put it on high. Let's see at high here. God, I got no nails. See, it, it, it's fine. See, my dog, she can't even hear it. Now, remember, dogs are sensitive to hearing, so they probably hear it like this. But they're not hearing it in a Dremel sort of way, okay? When you use a Dremel, that damn thing is so damn loud that 100%... You're screwing, you're, their, their ears are getting screwed and they hate it. Because of that, they hate it. Loud noises scare the hell out of dogs. That's all it is. Now, my puppy is going to be getting this trial. Oh, God, she's acting like she's sleeping. I swear today she made my life a living hell. I work at home, so this is like literally she was jumping on me. Every little thing, everything you could imagine destroying things she even ate one of my rings over here i kid you not this was in her mouth okay so anyways <laughs> so uh <laughs> so right now i'm gonna be doing this to her we're gonna see how it is now i don't think that it cuts right away because you saw what happened i just put my nails on and my nails is not as thick as hers and it doesn't chop it off so you probably need to spend some time which is good for safety reasons again the only gripe I have is if they could put some grips on this baby right here. So let's see what I could do, okay? Let's see what, what I could do here. I'm going to uh, do it for my dog right here. I, I, I don't think I could have this on video. I'm sorry. I just don't think that's really possible for me. I can't get her to sit down, let alone, you know, I got to grab her two hands. You guys got to just trust me on this. Hell, I showed it to you on my own damn freaking hands here, okay? You see? Look at this. And it doesn't cut all your nail off, okay? So this takes time. This takes time. But that's what's good, okay? Because like that, you won't make a mistake. So wow, guys, I am freaking stunned. I can't even describe to you how much nonsense is on the websites all over. This thing is freaking amazing. I kid you not. It is amazing. I, it actually worked. I can't believe it. All of these other claims, they say it doesn't make that much noise. It's always loud. It always scared the hell out of her. With her, it cut, it was something new to introduce. So, you you know, you can't go around in a dog's paw, you know, when, when, when they're used to going to Petco and be tied down and forced into it. It's not really something that's pleasant for them. So, that, you know, like they're showing it like it's pleasant. No, it's not pleasant. It's something new. It scares them because it's new. That's really all it is. But... Otherwise, it's really dog friendly. I'm going to save it for kitties. Uh, for my cat, you know, cat that I, ha I had in the past, we used to take nail clippers to do his, his nails and he hated every minute of it. And it was really a nightmare. Like you had to be careful not to cut too deep and because he would pull away. So it, it, it's, you know, it's not something that's comfortable for them. They hate it all the time. But this thing, she actually stood there as I'm like holding her and I'm petting her. And she started not to feel anything. She hears the noise. And she gets used to it. But then it goes like this and it scared her a little bit. Okay, so a little bit she pulled away. Then I just held her down and just like not by force, but just like petting her. And then I just slowly, slowly just went like that. And then I just I realized what really works. And be careful. Okay. But just have it go down. Don't go like this. Just go down like this. Like I told you, it's not going to cut all their nail. Just go on the on on the on a diagonal and just try to just like another thing that worked for me. I'm not kidding. I had I had it upside down and just let her nail just kind of go into it. Just the points of it, and it, it it was nice. But it's always good at a diagonal sort of way like this. Okay, so then. What happened is she just got used to it. So I just went this is like that and just waited for a little while, a little while. And then it just cut it off. So, you know, grinded it off slowly, slowly, but surely. Now, I didn't use the, the highest one. This one, I didn't use that. I used the first speed, uh, which I think did a great job as it is. I'm not confident yet because I'm not. It's my first time using it. You understand? But, am, you know, am I optimistic? Is it going to work? Hell yeah, it's going to work. Uh, but I'm not, I'm not there yet. So I think you should start with the first speed and then work your way to the, uh, to the you know, double speed there and see how it works. I do think this is definitely a good recommendation. I highly recommend it. Um, my God, I was looking for something for my dog, and I'm so glad I found this. Lucky Tail 
dog nail grinder. You get a 10 out of freaking 10. I give you a 20 out of 20, and you guys know I don't do that normally in any of my reviews, but in this situation, I can't believe it. I really thought I was going to get a lemon here like all the other ones that I don't even bother reviewing, but this one really swore and blah, 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 and everybody was telling me about it. I said, I got to try this thing. Um, I got to see how to remove this so you could replace it. I don't know, but, you know, whatever you get, it comes with two replacements. But, guys, this thing is 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 freaking money went well spent. Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, I... I just wish these things were readily available, the extras, that I could buy them anywhere by like bulk of 20. That would be freaking cool and not get charged probably a lot because this is proprietary. Most likely, you know, they're going to probably charge. I don't know. I have to look into that. I'm not going to make rumors or any assumptions, but this thing is definitely a 10 out of 10. The fact that it so light and, and sound that doesn't sound like a freaking Dremel like they have in Petco and stuff that's loud and scares the hell out of dogs but you know it's still fun uh, you know they're still doing it and then they they bathe them and whatever it's it's nice but you know I don't have $70 to spend every freaking month or whatever so it, it's good to have something like this and you know it's going to last you a long time uh, I'm going to probably have to cut my uh, the, my dog's nails probably every two weeks just because I want to get her used to it but otherwise I do it probably every month uh, just because I want to get her used to it that's all so now she has a lot of nail to cut off actually so I was doing a lot uh, she has very long nails because it grew for a while you know due to all the garbage that's going on right now so uh, you know I I took my time did it and i'm really happy with the results uh the only thing that i gotta learn is the thumbnail i'm not i didn't do that yet i'm not comfortable with it she already broke one on her other leg uh playing in the snow so i didn't want to touch that uh but I, i'm sure it's the same thing you just got to be you know different positioning but all the other nails on the front easy peasy so anyways let me know what you guys think as always if you guys bought this let us know what you think down below in the comment section as i always said guys i pay for this with my own money we're not a paid for reviewer site we do everything with our own money that's the point of it i would uh, you know and i love you guys for offering me patreon services and all that but you know guys i'd rather you keep that money i'd rather you keep the money to buy one of these for your baby i'd rather you guys spoil your families spoil yourselves invest wisely we live in uncertain times believe me i work three jobs to make this happen and i am damn proud of it and i love you guys you guys are already doing more than enough of your share by sharing it with everybody you know so they could sift through less garbage of paid for reviewers and actually get real reviews from people like you and i and you guys are the jury you guys are common commenting down below you're saying yes it's good no it's bad all of that are you getting it are you not you know did you get it what do you think of it that's what people want to hear for real reviews for, and you know from people like you and i that's the reason i opened this page because i was sick and tired of being ripped off by paid for reviewers that's why i opened this page in the first place so people can make better informed decisions and you guys are all part of that so that is amazing we're nearing eight thousand. i got a killer video eight thousand video a recipe that's gonna leave your mouth singing trust me guys i'm gonna be coming out with that and probably i'm gonna be giving out a prize i'm also gonna be doing i'm working on it right now uh harry potter uh, mini uh, mini series uh, basically uh, my wife and I went a, a while ago actually about two years ago uh, I think it's almost two years no it was last year right yeah uh, to uh, the Harry Potter and uh, Universal Studio I'm going to show you guys all of that and review all their cool stuff that they have there and then I'm going to do what even in Universal Studios they loved and they actually wanted my my idea to be pitched I did a Harry Pond wand holder wait till you guys see this it is glorious and I'm going to give that to you guys as a gift one lucky winner will win it unfortunately i need, I need to you know the filament is not plenty anymore because of all the stuff that's going around so i only did one for this so one lucky winner is going to win that so stay tuned definitely for that i'm just going to be editing and doing all that stuff but i want to hear what you guys have to think about this anyways like subscribe like definitely because that helps the algorithm like subscribe hit that bell button have a good one y'all take care bye as always guys if you like what you see self-funded here be sure to check out all my other uh stuff from mini series to unboxings to technology you know and uh nintendo reviews and 3d printer uh reviews and all that good stuff if you like what you see the only way you can help the channel is by liking uh this video subscribing and hitting that bell button as many more cool videos to come definitely want you guys in it and i want to want you guys to be vocal definitely comment down below i want to hear what you guys have to say have a good one y'all take care bye